Good morning, everybody. I'm Omar Mahanna, the head of the e the Egyptian Center for um, Economic Studies. I would like to uh, welcome the, the uh, esteemed speakers to broach this very interesting uh, subject, uh, which has has proven a little bit uh, challenging for many politicians uh, who have eventually failed and uh, some of them actually paid uh, the ultimate price uh, in order to achieve the social justice uh, and they were not successful some were successful um, now the ideologies have uh, changed uh, and it's very dynamic in its meaning Today we are joined with uh, Dr. Meged Dalsman. Um, uh, he is the first speaker and he is going to start talking about measuring social justice in Egypt. Uh, and we're going to have three commentators uh, Dr. Mustafa Kamil Sayyid, uh, Dr. Rogi Asad, uh, and Dr. Hania Shakami. Now I'm going to uh, give the floor to Dr. Abla. Uh, to uh, give an introduction about the subject and then to Dr. Megid and then the discussion will uh, ensue. Good morning everyone. Today we are uh, covering um, uh, one of the topics that are close to my heart uh, because um, we can only achieve the economic development because uh, social justice has to be thrown into the equation in order to achieve sustainable development uh, not only for Egypt but this subject is of universal concern um, because uh, as um, uh, the, the doctor said that it could be used or misused but uh, at the end of the day it has to be achieved in order to uh, reach uh, sustainable development uh, since uh, the days uh, of drafting the constitution there were question marks about the definition of social justice no one uh, had been able to provide the definition and we would on would um, include it uh, in articles uh, uh, that were drafted by non um, uh, 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 by non specialists uh, and there were huge discussions uh, about the involvement uh, of this concept uh, that uh, includes a lot of uh, uh, a lot of ideas such as uh, the rights uh, to education uh, and the right to health um, and there was no attempt uh, in Egypt uh, to measure the status of social uh, justice. Uh, what Dr. Megal Osman did uh, eventually was the first uh, uh, attempt uh, to produce an index uh, to measure social uh, in, uh, justice. Um, it is a major initiative and he is going to ex explain uh, the this uh, index and then we're going to have a presentation by the ECS uh, by Dr. Uh, Hodam uh, uh, we are dealing with Dr. Uh, Meged uh, by explaining the uh, this uh, index and we are also working on developing it in order to be able to measure it annually um, because uh, at the end of the day it could be uh, our guidance uh, for policy adjustment uh, without further ado now i would like to give the floor to dr megid I'd like to Dr. Omar and Dr. Adla for inviting me to this uh, seminar. Um, 
Today I'm going to uh, talk about social justice um, and the measurement uh, um, uh, of uh, social justice. Um, it, most of the talks around social justice is uh, very much loose uh, and uh, not very definitive and it does not include uh, a content that is very specific on the uh, policies. Uh, sometimes people would imagine that this is uh, the all we can do because, uh, inequal because um, inequality is a fact of life and this is how God intended us to be. And, um, my presentation the issue of social justice has a lot of um, references and backgrounds that should be mentioned there are 18 constitutional articles that involve social justice including the areas uh, uh, where equality is a must uh, and the uh, definitions are also included. Also, it was a popular um, uh, request uh, in uh, January 25th and June 30th. Uh, and also some of the decrees, the presidential decrees, uh, uh, include uh, um, uh, or revolve around social uh, justice. And also uh, it is involved in the vision, Egypt, um, uh, Egypt's vision 2030. But also, it is a must in order to keep up uh, with the economic uh, with the uh, economic reform. Uh, in addition to the aforementioned, uh, all of the universal trends uh, um, address social justice. It's not only specific here in Egypt, rather uh, the inequalities and the indexes uh, uh, of the social uh, social justice um, compared to other countries. You'll be surprised um, because uh, the impression that we have here is that the Scandinavian countries uh, have um, a higher rates of social justice. But when we go deeper into details, you find a lot of discrepancies uh, uh, in um, in the third countries or even in African countries as well. So this uh, subject will need to be delved deeper. My point of view is that measurement uh, would facilitate uh, the um, uh, materialization of this subject. Uh, the definition of social uh, justice so we are not only talking about short-term solutions, rather empowerment. Uh, that's why our mindset has to uh, has to be uh, it, it channels uh, toward this. We're talking about equal opportunities to all, and um, the concept that I uh, relied on for the index uh, that social justice is achieved uh, when equal opportunities are available for uh, social mobility through which any person could move higher up. Uh, uh, the ranks of uh, society and um, the, there would be no discrimination based on the gender, religion, uh, color of the skin, uh, uh, profession and um, uh, it should be also tied to merit. But some uh, groups of, uh, in the society may not be able to achieve this social mobility. I'm talking about uh, people uh, with chronic diseases uh, or uh, widows, uh, elderly people, here the country or the state has to provide some some sort of social protection. But that is the uh, the overall of the uh, overall idea about the index. So we're talking about the restoration of social mobility. The theoretical uh, part of the different stages is also important um, because there is no single one that could be our target. No, there are different stages. These stages are um, staggered. Uh, the first one uh, uh, is uh, uh, the correction justice. Um, uh, where the powers, uh, the powers uh, of society would do some, uh, uh, would try to placate uh, some uh, uh, of the grievances of the people. And then we have distributional uh, justice, but here the uh, deprivation would be less than the first one. And the third one is the full equality. And here I'm going to talk about the right hand side, which is the positive. 
aspect and uh, on the left side uh, the areas that uh, where the justice has not been achieved yet um, we can safely say that uh, social uh, uh, justice cannot be achieved fully but it could be better the, the more we cover the uh, the green the uh, the green area the better uh, uh, there might be even more um, uh, Status, uh, but uh, this only helps to um, to materialize the, the uh, index. Um, if you look uh, at uh, the human the human uh, development uh, index uh, in Egypt uh, in 2015, it was uh, an uh, 69% uh, if you look at the different uh, countries uh, you will uh, find the numbers range from 50 to 90% uh, that is for the uh, human development index however the UN issued uh, the uh, 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 issued the human development uh, index uh, so the but there is a reduction uh, overall universally uh, that ranges from 71 to 55 but if you look at the different uh, different groups of countries you find that the this the uh, injustice um, the other discrepancies um, goes higher uh, where with um, uh, with higher de uh, development, human development um, uh, index, uh, our index, uh, and if we uh, measure it in order to take into consideration the inequality, it's going to drop 24 percent. So here, with the countries um, uh, with high uh, 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 human uh, human development um, index, you'll find that um, we'll find that it, uh, it stands at 12 percent. What about uh, the loss, the percentage of, uh, of the loss uh, in the uh, Human uh, Development Index? Uh, Morocco uh, ranked uh, higher, uh, followed by Egypt. Uh, and if you look at the countries on the right-hand side, uh, this is only a sample of the countries from different uh, regions. Uh, uh, Norway um, uh, stands at 5.4. We have tackled the 24% in Egypt, uh, which addressed inequality. But let me, uh, uh, as you all know, that uh, the HDI includes uh, income, health, and education. Each of these dimensions uh, is being affected by inequality. According to UN data, the health is being affected by 17%, uh, education 26%, and income 24%. For the, uh, on the first um, uh, impression, that people were talking about the income inequality, but now, as you can see uh, from the index, that mm -hmm. the uh, that the inequality in the uh, education sector is even higher. That's why the um, the. Uh, the People uh, are focused more on uh, income, and as you know, this is a vicious circle. Those who have no access to education have lower chances. Uh, this uh, uh, reduction or this drop uh, in the three aspects or dimensions uh, vary. Uh, the countries with, with high uh, uh, HDI, um, you'll find that uh, the income is uh, high. Uh, while in the countries uh, where there is moderate uh, development, human development uh, or low human development, you'll find that education uh, ranked higher. Uh, the uh, education indicator, when you take into consideration the inequality, it drops 41, um, the income drops uh, to 14, and the health 13. And you will find that number in Egypt is the highest globally. Uh, based on the human development uh, uh, index, which m uh, prompts us to think uh, where our limited resources should be channeled uh, towards. Uh, 
when producing this index uh, i thought about the two parts uh, for measurement uh, of uh, social justice uh, which are going to take the society from the correctional uh, justice to uh, the distributional uh, one you have to take into consideration the social capital and the human capital human capital includes education access to information employment health uh, and culture uh, while the culture includes um, the uh, 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 satisfaction, engagement, uh, sense of justice, um, uh, so uh, the uh, social uh, justice is not uh, just as it is really hard to uh, to measure and uh, its data are not uh, available but the human uh, capital is usually measured uh, and routinely um, measured however that part that, that has to do with the social justice is very important people's perception and their sense of uh, satisfaction and trust are uh, very important Important, without which social justice cannot be achieved particularly that in our society we see that a major part of the lack of social justice that based on the culture values and the, the fact that people are deeply a uh, classes uh, which exist in different uh, in different societies and communities as well uh, Social uh, justice is not only a moral; it's not only a moral stand that is being adopted. However, it is a developmental uh, or a, dev a development necessity that cannot be put off. Uh, uh, some people would say, "Where we get money in order to achieve uh, social justice, and uh, with our limited, very limited resources." But I would like to uh, point out here, I'm not talking about uh, increasing the, uh, the the funds, but uh, the alternatives uh, uh, in the light uh, of the budget um, uh, where our priorities should lie uh, for example uh, if we want to um, to add to, to add the funds should it go to uh, the, uh, um, uh, the the university or should it go to school or preschool um, there was uh, an idea for the university uh, for the university uh, students and um, if you look at the different categories or the income categories of the students uh, that are enrolled uh, in the universities uh, you find it one to seven I'm talking here about uh, government uh, or public uh, 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 public universities um, so the chance of a young person who belongs to uh, who, uh, to who belongs to the poorest, um, uh, twenty percent to the highest, twenty percent is one uh, to seven. Uh, this is uh, the one ideal uh, situation, and uh, the, it takes into consideration only public uh, universities. So, did um, uh, our uh, uh, our policies uh, 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 succeed in achieving this social uh, justice? Well, Dr. Rogi uh, mentioned that when analyzing the specialty, uh, specialization, the specializations that generate higher profit uh, when compared to those that uh, generate uh, uh, generate lower uh, profits, um, one to one hundred and twenty six. Uh, sorry, one twenty six, one twenty, one sixty two. So the mobility uh, in the uh, university, in public university, is almost uh, non-existent. Uh, um, all of uh, the educational pathways are implicitly biased. Uh, the poor mostly are unable to send their children to preschool uh, education, uh, and then, and even uh, during their uh, educational years, uh, it costs a lot. So in, uh, implicitly, the poor do not uh, get uh, a similar chance. Uh, another question um, is: What about the provision of electronic education to the poor families uh, in creative manners? Uh, without going into details, what about the idea? Is it um, uh, is it a necessity because uh, uh, because of the lack of uh, access or the lack of quality for the poorer families? And I'm telling you now that the increase, the population hike uh, from uh, 2016 to 2018, um, uh, which translates into a higher number of enrollment, school enrollment, uh, uh, is 40% of the number. Uh, 
uh, but now in 2018 we have the only increase of school rooms uh, at uh, mm. uh, by uh, 10 percent so we're not talking only about the quality of education no we're going there is a huge number of students who are, go are not going to be enrolled we will not be able to imagine that the number of school rooms are going to increase in capacity by 40 percent uh, which are already overcrowded to start with um, in this regard we are in egypt based on the population latest census improved uh, with less percentage compared to the previous but this uh, signifies an improvement but if we look at the illiterate uh, people mm. in uh, 2006 census this uh, bracket mm. uh, from 10 years ago this uh, they uh, grow 10 years so looking into the numbers 10 years ago aged 10 to 20 and now they aged from 20 to 30. What happened? The number uh, increased. And this shouldn't be uh, happening. So this number uh, increased to 900,000 uh, youth. Aged 20 to 30 uh, years old. 10 years ago they were not illiterate, but they are now. How can we explain this? That they got poor quality uh, education that they cannot even sustain uh, literacy or the basic skills they learned. Uh, other alternatives, uh, if we have 500 million Egyptian uh, pounds, two years ago in uh, Ramadan, mm. uh, the cabinet uh, decided to uh, channel mm. more than uh, 500 uh, EJP mm. for food security mm. budget in Ramadan. And this uh, might happen in the coming mm. few days. But what is the other alternative? Mm. We uh, could mm. uh, provide uh, school mm. uh, fees for mm. a third of a million poor children. Mm. So which, which one uh, is better? Mm. Enrollment, uh, a number mm. of poor children. Mm. So this is not a matter of poverty or wealth. It's a matter of priorities. Also, the food supplies imports in uh, Ramadan could be uh, used uh, to build a hundred uh, 2500 uh, classrooms so this is alternatives to the uh, society it's not a matter of having enough resources if education is the solution to social justice so what are our priorities the number of uh, classrooms uh, is uh, 400,000 and the cost of the classrooms uh, is quarter a million AGP per class. So if we want to double uh, the number, we need 100 billion Egyptian pounds, which is a big number. What about the wage uh, item in the public uh, budget? This number increased from 2011 to 2015 in four years. This uh, items was 86 and now it's, uh, two, it's 200 plus. So this uh, increased 134 million in four years, exceeding the cost for doubling the number of classrooms. So again, it's not um, a matter of the funds available, but the way you spend these funds. Social justice in light of the above mentioned uh, facts can be explained by social uh, mobility in a merit-based uh, society. People should not inherit poverty or wealth from the parents. And there are seven uh, pillars to achieve this. First, we should ensure social and economic protection for marginalized and vulnerable groups. Second, uh, legal empowerment for marginalized groups. And this is really important because People can have certain rights, but they cannot access uh, justice. Uh, minimize uh, the discrepancy in uh, income. Uh, force uh, access to knowledge for vulnerable uh, groups. Fix uh, equality in access to basic uh, quality infrastructure. And seven, uh, eliminating social norms that 
uh, support this divination. These seven uh, pillars are theoretical and how can we apply them in practice and this is the crux of the matter. This is what I'm trying uh, to do. How can we measure this? Uh, we uh, should get to the heart of the social justice in Egypt and this uh, picture perfectly captures the matter. We have five uh, major uh, gaps. The first one is the wealth gap, gender uh, gap, uh, geographical uh, gap, rural uh, to urban uh, areas, and intergenerational uh, gap between the elderly and the youth. And uh, this uh, gap might be in favor of the youth or the elderly. And also another uh, gap between the able-bodied uh, and disabled uh, persons. The first gap, the income gap, uh, into the uh, population uh, development under the poverty line. This increased from 17 to 28, and many uh, countries had a reverse uh, trend. But here in Egypt, the poverty rates increased. Looking uh, on the poverty uh, in relation to the family uh, size, there is a linear uh, correlation. The bigger uh, the family, the uh, higher the poverty uh, rates in this uh, family. Now, the urgent uh, question is that uh, poor uh, children who are smart that might uh, be lost due to the uh, hard uh, conditions. So we are losing their uh, potential given the high uh, infant or birth uh, rates. Gender gap. Uh, this gap is uh, related uh, to the uh, values and norms in the society. We have high enrollment rates of female in uh, primary education. So there are some positive uh, values on female enrollment. That's why uh, the enrollment of female uh, in university uh, education is higher compared to male enrollment. We have higher enrollment rates in university education, but some negative uh, values on women empowerment. And this uh, leads to lower employment rates. So university graduates, female university uh, graduates, whether in uh, uh, pharmacy, making up uh, around 69%. But there are some uh, negative uh, perceptions on women employment that's why unemployment rates among uh, females is four uh, times uh, compared to male uh, university equality when it comes to uh, voting and participation most of the opinion uh, polls show that uh, people reject uh, the idea of women working as judges for example uh, equality in uh, voting with the negative uh, perceptions would marginalize women's role in the public uh, life. So values and norms play a positive or a negative role and this should be taken into consideration when we measure. The geographical gap refers to the gap between the rural and urban areas. Looking into a poverty uh, lines, we would find that in uh, lower Egypt, the poverty rates would be uh, only uh, 15 uh, percent. As for the intergenerational uh, gap, this uh, exists but among the four uh, generations, and these are real uh, pictures. And the gap is uh, multidimensional, whether when it comes to technology at the uh, right uh, side, some people uh, use pen and paper while others use iPads, and this works in the favor of the uh, use in some dimensions. 
as uh, for the disability to the able uh, budded uh, gap disabilities affect much and the data uh, is really uh, rare in this field but we can replace this with the pictures here we have uh, Hassan who works as a mechanic in uh, Al Sharia he's a productive citizen he's a successful uh, mechanic facing uh, major difficulties of course uh, persons with disabilities do not have uh, much uh, uh, access when it comes to reaching uh, certain buildings the lifts are not uh, wheelchair uh, accessible and this does not need uh, much uh, money they just need some uh, application of certain codes in addition to the gaps we have multiple uh, gaps so we have a poor female living in upper Egypt and this will play out uh, differently. How can we measure the social uh, justice after the long story I told you? Uh, this looks like a, a jellyfish, uh, elusive uh, to catch its own dimensions. This is a complicated issue and we should go back to the idea of uh, human capital and social capital and uh, each uh, dimension tackling the capital uh, the human capital or the social capital should be translated into a certain of uh, questions and later translated into indicators five uh, indicators for human capital and five for social uh, capital as for uh, the five gaps we tackled uh, the income uh, gap Q1 versus uh, Q5, the 20%, uh, percent, the quintile 20%, uh, percent. and this uh, exists in infant uh, mortality, uh, for example, and this is double uh, the number of the number of uh, children dies in the poorest uh, families is double the number of uh, children uh, born in wealthier families. And without any real justification, as for the gender uh, gap, as for the residents uh, or the geographical, we are speaking of ruler versus uh, urban, upper Egypt versus lower Egypt, uh, formal areas versus uh, slum areas, intergenerational a uh, gap would tackle uh, the age uh, brackets according to the certain indicators or certain uh, dimensions because the age brackets would differ according to the indicators as for the disability we are comparing uh, bodily uh, able to persons with uh, disabilities this is the um, table for human capital social and cultural uh, capital these are the five uh, elements pertinent uh, to uh, each as for the human uh, capital in education we discuss preschool uh, enrollment uh, university uh, enrollment or higher education enrollment uh, high uh, paying uh, specialization just like uh, medicines or engineering and then the quality of education also we used to measure this uh, quality uh, education according to an international uh, indicator, but then we uh, stopped after 10 years and we will uh, go back to this indicator to measure the quality, to track the uh, gap in uh, poor schools and rich schools. As for knowledge and access to information, this is a very important dimension because this might be uh, equivalent uh, to the quality or to the education problem. So through self-education or early learning, we can address this uh, problem. Uh, and here we refer to mass uh, media exposure and computer uh, literacy, social media literacy and so on. As for the third uh, dimension, that's to say employment, we are uh, tackling uh, access to employment. 
uh, especially full uh, time and employment rate, uh, access to a formal uh, sector comparing to informal sector because uh, this depends on the social class and the type of education the person gets. As for health, we are speaking of infant mortality, health and illness and mental uh, health. As for the last dimension, culture and recreation, we are uh, tackling the time uh, spent for uh, recreational activities, whether uh, reading or exercising. Moving uh, now to the social and cultural uh, capital, we spoke of trust in others and in institutions, satisfaction with uh, life, optimism, sense of uh, safety or security, or uh, health, uh, in health and social uh, insurance. As for justice, we are referring to the sense of justice. Do people feel uh, that there is a sense of equality when they compare themselves to others? Do they have uh, access to employment without uh, obstacles or unobjective hinders? And do they have a sense of social justice? As for participation, we have four sub-indicators. A percentage of uh, people engaged within civil uh, society or uh, political uh, participation or participation in uh, local councils participation in uh, public uh, positions. We can compare female to male, we can compare older age brackets to younger age brackets and so on. This is the result we achieved based on the study we uh, conducted. I excluded the disability uh, gap because we had uh, we couldn't have uh, enough data uh, on this and it's also uh, very uh, complicated so we have four gaps and ten indicators reflecting human and social capital if we uh, look at the final uh, result uh, two point 28 we would find that this is the overall indicator for the matrix and we should compare this is a relative uh, comparisons of course and uh, this indicator is from uh, 0 uh, to 5 5 is the highest number and 0 is the lowest uh, number so you would find uh, I'm sorry, it's from 0 to 10. So some figures in the table range from 0 to 10. Uh, the numbers highlighted in uh, red uh, are the numbers above uh, 5. And then the lighter uh, red is from 0 to 3. And we have some uh, numbers in orange uh, ranging from 2 to 3 and then the less is less than the rest is less than 2 we should focus on the uh, dimensions on the severe dimensions because we cannot work on everything at the very same uh, time we should prioritize things what are the priorities that we should uh, tackle uh, looking into the first uh, column at the end of this column the income uh, gap is the highest, followed uh, by in the uh, 2.5 belonging to the geographical uh, gap, and the gap is really wide. What is the uh, highest uh, gap? between the poor and the rich. Culture and recreational uh, dimension is the highest. There is a very wide uh, gap. Followed by access to knowledge and information, the gap between the poor and uh, the rich is evident in access to information, followed by access to uh, education. As for the social uh, capital, uh, the highest uh, gap uh, is in participation and in the third uh, column tackling the geographical uh, gap participation is highest 
So participation uh, between the urban and rural is higher than participation between the rich and the poor. So we should focus geographically uh, on participation and not based on income. This is evident more in the geographical gap. So this is the first uh, attempt to have a quantified uh, study on social uh, justice. And then I will uh, talk briefly about some of the telegraphic messages that I can send. Uh, social uh, justice is uh, should go beyond the economic justice. Other elements should be taken into consideration to make the vulnerable groups uh, feel uh, better, especially that the social norms and values uh, differ. We should uh, conduct this uh, study on a periodical basis and this will take us to the lack of data available. We should engage the different partners working on data uh, collection. They should share this responsibility. Each party should be responsible for certain indicators. We have uh, some info gaps especially when it comes to disability matters. Persons with disabilities uh, do not uh, have enough uh, surveys to measure human capital or social capital. And it would be really uh, interesting to channel this uh, effort, if continued, into social uh, justice observatory to contain all uh, the data or figures uh, issuing uh, concept uh, papers or research papers. I'd like to thank you so much. We still hope for a better uh, future since this uh, use uh, looks to the future. Thank you so much.